At Earth University, students take advantage of the energy that is naturally present in animal waste and kitchen trash. As the waste breaks down, whether in the ground, a compost heap, landfill, or biodigester, it releases methane gas. So it gets in here, and there it has uh, around 25 days of retention where it ferments anaerobically and it produces the gas. And this is the, the setup we use for measuring the quality of the gas and the amount of the gas produced. This is a volume meter and this is the setup we have made for measuring the concentration of the methane. And now I'm going to show you the flame. I hope you get to see it. Get to close here. Converting to this recycled fuel would ultimately help to prevent deforestation. For those families that have to buy their fuel, a biodigester provides significant cost it. savings. It's methane. That's energy. That's the way we captured energy. Out of the Apart from providing fuel, a biodigester is also a source of high-quality organic fertilizer that can be used on crops. During the decomposition process in the biodigester, the waste is also sterilized. This means that animal manure, which has caused many health problems in developing countries when placed on fields with close-to-the-ground crops, such as lettuce or cabbage, can be used without fear of causing sickness. Disease-causing bacteria, such as E. coli, are killed inside the biodigester and never make contact with the plants. Some studies have also shown that the fertilizer that has been processed by a biodigester has a higher nutritional value than the raw waste that is put in. The biodigester stores the gas for use in heating, cooking, or lighting, which provides a sustainable substitute for the propane, kerosene, and firewood that many rural families in developing countries use.